Hello, and welcome to Cry Havoc Wargaming, dedicated to bringing you the uncommon. For those of you who haven't met me, my name is Ron, and today we're going to be doing a review of Knuckle Duster Miniatures from the movie Tombstone in 1993. So, let's get started. I've been playing Wild West cowboy games for a long time, particularly as a suitable large-scale skirmish game for uh, wargaming conventions with multiple players is what I mean by large-scale, not large-scale figure-wise. In fact, usually I play only one or two figures per, uh, per player. And I've leaned uh, towards the game Gunfighter Ball, which uh, is not only a perfect game for these sort of venues and for that sort of arrangement of a game, but it's actually where it owes its history and how it was developed and, and created. But because I've already owned figures for a long time and uh, because I, I've acquired buildings and things like that in the past, I've only recently purchased and painted my first set of actual knuckle duster figures. That's figures made by the company that produces Gunfighter's Ball. And so I thought I would like to take this opportunity to do a review of those first figures I've painted, and that is the Cowboy Faction and the Wyatt Earp Faction, both heavily based upon the movie Tombstone. So let's go to the painting table. Right here we have the Cowboys and the Wyatt Earp Gang. In both cases, these are based very heavily on the actor's portrayal in the, the 1993 movie Tombstone. So you'll recognize a lot of them, though they, they confuse some of the characters. Uh, Landry here, Hayden Church's uh, figure, it's obviously based on him. In the movie, he was playing William Clanton, not Landry. So they've confused some of them around, but uh, they are based on, on the people in the movie. Curly Bill Brocious, uh, the two Landrys, uh, the two um, Clantons, this is the, the Landrys here. Two Clantons, and then Johnny Ringo. And then over for the Earp side, you have Virgil Earp, Doc Holliday, Morgan, uh, Wyatt, Texas Jack Vermillion, and Turkey Creek Johnson. There's an extra figure that goes with them now. To buy him individually, or you have to get him with the mounted Earp set. Uh, he, he comes as an extra in that. Both of these sets come in mounted versions as well as the dismounted. I don't have the mounted yet. There's a uh, War Games Foundry guy. Well, actually, these two look pretty good, pretty close. Um, so they're not they're not all that bad together. I love the look of the Knuckle Duster figures. They typically are based on movies, either on movies or historical figures, on photographs of the real people. Their names will usually be disguised if they're entirely fictional movie characters. Uh, to avoid copyright issues, but you can clearly tell who a lot of them are. Uh, but having now finally bought some and having put them together, they, they are excellent sculpts, which makes them just a real dream to paint. They're, they're a lot of fun, and um, I'm not likely to buy any cowboys that aren't knuckle duster in the future, I don't think. So very good figures, well worth the purchase, definitely worth the investment. They do a number of these packs that are a lot of fun. All their figures seem to be available either individually or in packs. And I don't know many companies that give you a choice of either, which I think is also brilliant. You can buy the packs to get started or get everything you want if you wanted all those stacks. So if you only like, I mean, how many times have you seen a line where there's five figures in a set and every one of the sets they make, there's one figure you hate? Well, in this case, you wouldn't, that wouldn't be a problem. You just buy the ones you want. I wish more companies would do that. I think it's brilliant. So there you have it. Uh, the finished figures for both the Cowboy Faction and the Wyatt Earp Faction for Gunfighter's Ball. What a great set of figures these were. Not only are they very, very well detailed, very, very inspired and indicative of the characters. They, they look like who they're supposed to be. Beautiful, beautifully well-detailed set of figures. Uh, very much evocative of the movie and of the period, and um, a real pleasure to paint. I've really enjoyed these figures. 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have knuckle duster figures yourself or comments or questions you'd like to make about knuckle duster figures, go ahead and put those in the comments down below. We also look to the comments down below for any ideas for future content that we might produce here on Cry Havoc Wargaming. If you've enjoyed this video or found any use to it, I hope that you will hit like. And if you'd like to receive continued notifications, informing you of the publishing of videos like this one that may help you decide how to best spend your money or time in your wargaming hobby, then please hit subscribe. Until next time, cheers.